Hey there, my name is Victory and welcome to The Beautiful Black Girl. Before I start this video, I want to say a really big thank you to Abosha for shouting me out in her channel. And if you're here from Maxine's channel, thank you so much for subscribing. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a recreation of a look I did a while back. Uh, it's using clear nails and then the nail part is white and the tips are clear. I think you've seen it in the thumbnail, so I'm going to recreate it and make it slightly different but not too different from the original look so i hope you guys like this video yeah let's get into the video So I'm starting off by reducing the size of the nails that I've chosen. They're a bit too long for my liking the way they came in the packet so I wanted to reduce them to a reasonable length. So the best thing to use for this is a nail tip cutter because a normal nail cutter doesn't really work well and sometimes it ends up breaking the nail in the middle. So what I'm doing is once I cut the first one I align it with the same with the nail from the same finger on the other side and then I cut where they meet or rather where it aligns with the one that I had already cut so that you end up with two identical ones and I'm just going to do that again this time I'm doing the index finger so I take the nail from the index finger on the left and place it onto my finger so that I know where I'm cutting at the length I'm comfortable with and then I cut where I want to cut and then once that's done I pick the nail from my index finger on the right hand place it aligned with the, thing, the nail from the left hand and then cut exactly where I had cut on the previous nail and then that way I have two identical sizes to use here I'm just doing it a third time so that you understand what I'm talking about Cut the layer at the length that I'm comfortable with. Then once I'm done with that, I align the nails from both hands together and then cut where the the same at the same place where I cut the previous one. I hope you understand what I'm saying. I'm not really sure if I'm explaining it well, but you can see it in the video. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to file the nails into place. I use my electric nail file for nails like this because sometimes a nail file on its own personally I find it's not strong enough so I prefer to use this because it's also faster. This step is optional in case you decide that the way you cut you're happy with but personally I like to round my edges a bit. So the next step now, I'll be using nail tape to divide the nail into the section I want to polish and the section I want to leave free. And here I'm just showing you the different types of tape that comes in that come, sorry, in the packet. I bought this online and I'm not sure whether it's still there, but if I can find if it's still on the website, I'll leave a link in the description box. It was about 300 if I'm not wrong. So out of the designs, I chose to use this one on the left so that it's not straight like the previous look. So I'm just going to peel off uh, one of the pieces and show you how it looks. And it's a kind of wavy kind of thing. And that's what I'm going to be using to um, draw a boundary where I want my polish to reach. So I'm just placing uh, my nail onto my finger so that I know where exactly I want to place the tape and I just place the tape where I'm comfortable enough because I still want to leave a clear tip at the top 
as the same as the previous look and so this is basically how I'm going to do it for all the other nails So I did the rest of camera and now here you can see I've done all of them. So the next thing I'm going to do now is polish my nails and if you saw my pre my recent sorry um, a video I did on how I pre-polish my stick on nails and you'll understand what I'm doing here. If you haven't seen that video yet I'll link it in the description box but basically I just uh, placed some tape onto a surface and then stick the nails on there. And apply polish then leave it overnight to dry this helps them um, dry better and then there's no smudging like the smudging you get when you apply it by yourself on your nails you don't get that and it's completely dry when you're putting them on so you don't have to worry about anything to do with smudging or even having polish on your skin none of those things you don't have to worry about any of them So once I'm done aligning them, I just apply my white polish and here you can see I've already polished the nails. So the next thing I'm going to do now is once the nails are dry, I just peel off the tape slowly. And you can see that it's the tape came out in the design following the, sorry, the polish follow the design of the tape. So that's how you get the design on the nail. That's the same as the tape that you wanted to use. So now I'm just going to be Sorry, now I'm just going to apply the rhinestones onto the nail. And what I'm doing here is putting one coat of um, gel polish because that's what we're going to use to make the rhinestone stick. I did a video using rhinestones before and I also use gel polish there. The only difference is that I'm using a different brand of polish but it's the same concept. You apply the gel polish and then pick up the rhinestones and put them in the order that you'd like. And then once you're done with that, you're going to cure the nail under a lamp. So here I'm just placing my rhinestones according to the wave that I formed using the tape when I was polishing. Because that's how the previous one was. The only difference is that this one is wavy and the previous one was straight. This process is a bit lengthy so I won't really show everything all the way I'll just fast forward because it takes a bit of time to align them together because it's also a bit slippery when you're using the gel but it's best to use gel because if you use something like glue it might stick where you didn't want it to stick and you won't be able to move it around once it holds with gel you are able to move everything into position until you're happy with it before you cure it under a lamp. So this is the design that I did following the wave like I told you guys and this is how it's come out so after that you're just going to place it under a lamp I do this for 60 seconds because I want to put it for the maximum time I do the same with all the others and here I'm showing you guys the different one I'll be doing the accent finger will be different from the rest because I usually like to do a different look on one of the fingers instead of all of them looking the same so here i'm going to do a different design but i'm still going to use rhinestones so i'm just placing them into position like i am showing you here 
uh, the pink one and then after that I'm going to do a line straight down on both ends using different rhinestones from the one that's in the middle. Like I said before, it's a tedious process, so it's easier for me to just forward so that you see the end look. Because if I do the whole process on camera, it might take a bit too long. And I, of course, don't want the video to be too lengthy. The point of the video is just so that you get the concept of what I'm doing. So this is the final look. That I came up with and after this I'm going to cure it under a lamp like the previous one after I do all the designs I put on a top coat which is still a gel top coat and then cure it under the lamp and I actually my phone actually died so I didn't notice that it wasn't recording the rest but what you get will be similar to this look that was in the thumbnail when I do it I'm going to post it on Instagram so if you don't follow me there make sure you follow me i'll leave a link to my instagram in the description box and i'll post my handle here on the screen so that you can follow me and see when i post the photo so thank you so much guys for watching this video if you haven't subscribed yet please make sure you subscribe before i end this video i want to make a small announcement if you follow me on instagram you might have seen on my story during on my story in the beginning of the week I posted that I was working on something which I'm now going to tell you guys. So I'm starting a business where I'll be doing um, custom nails for people. I'm going to be custom making nails for people who want their own custom pair and I'm going to insert a short video of some of the designs I'm using as like the first four designs that I'll be using. So yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't liked this video yet, please give it a thumbs up. And you haven't, if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a beautiful weekend.